morning, welcome to Daddy Where's the dinner? As you know, during this COVID season, uh, we are not allowed to go out, not even fishing. Uh, all the fishing spots in Singapore has been closed. So what can we do? Uh, I thought we will do some backyard outdoor cooking. So this morning, I'm going to try out four kinds of uh, uh, your four kinds of fire, right? Uh, where you can use to do cooking. So the first kind of cooking is the most, uh, you can say the most an ancient, the most traditional, which is cooking with wood. So I have, uh, I picked some wood from the roadside and then this is a wood stove, which you can get from any of the online shops. And uh, I have a video on how this wood stove works, so I'm not going to talk too much about how the wood stove works, but today we are going to use the wood stove to cook. The good thing about a wood stove is uh, your fuel is free of charge. You just need to pick up twigs from the side of the road. And the, actually, this wood stove, I would say, is among the strongest fire among all the fire here. Uh, I find that the, the heat from the wood stove is very strong. So what I'm going to do with the wood stove this morning is to use it to cook water for uh, for cooking the other stuff. Okay. So that's the wood stove. The next thing I want to, of course, is the Boy Scout thing. This is our Boy Scout uh, stove, which which used solid fuel. Right, so we will try to cook something with this. Perhaps we'll cook an American breakfast on this Boy Scout stove. Uh, the next thing is this, of course, uh, charcoal fire. La. So I will, I will have charcoal, I'll build a charcoal fire here and we'll do some barbecuing. And finally, when you go camping and you want just comfort, bring your gas stove. Right? Just a few gas canister inside, have a gas stove and you can start cooking. This is the most convenient and we also cook a dish on the gas stove. And now I'm going to tell you what are the three dishes we'll cook this morning. Um, we'll cook three different dishes from three different countries. One for breakfast, one for lunch and one for dinner. Let me show you. I'll start by introducing the ingredient for breakfast. Breakfast is an American breakfast. We have bacon, hot dog, eggs and tomatoes. So this will be an American breakfast that we will cook on a hot plate and then for lunch we are going to make california rolls can you see california rolls yep so we need seaweed and in the california roll we are going to barbecue our uh, our stream that is marinated by this daiso some kind of barbecue sauce oh thank god i bought this before the lockdown so I have Daiso barbecue sauce and uh, these are the other ingredients short grain rice, cucumber, mayonnaise so we are going to cook a lunch which is this Japanese California roll and finally for the dinner part we are going to cook a Spanish dish it's a pela, pela is some kind of uh, fried rice, cooked rice uh, with all these ingredients uh, the most important thing is the seafood so, I can find from my fridge some sotong and some prawn. So we'll cook with sotong and prawn. And you'll see how it's being cooked. Oh, I want to introduce to you the things I use to cook, not the fire, but uh, the equipment I use to cook. Of course, for the American breakfast, just a hot plate like that. Right, just, a, just a flat hot plate like that. That's for the American breakfast. I may cook it here or here, I don't know. And then, to cook the rice for the California roll, I'm going to use this. This actually this is a triple layer pot, which uh, this Mr. Tang Gabriel Tang gave to me. So shout out to Gabriel Tang. Thank you very much. He gave me this triple layer pot as well as this uh, some sort of a fire uh, shield. Right, it's uh, you can change the, the size of it to any size. I'm going to use it for setting up my barbecue fire. And this triple layer pot, okay. One layer, two layer, three layer. Fantastic, right? And uh, in, in, the, in this triple layer pot, I think you have this uh, little thing that can help to, help to hold the pot. Can you see this handle? 
to keep the pan away from the heat. I'm going to use a small pot to cook the Japanese rice and then the big, the big pot to cook the pela. Right. Hey, actually uh, for the American breakfast, this is not bad. Hmm. Oh, but uh, if I use this, then I don't have a cover for the big pot. So I cannot. So I'm going to use this as a cover for the big pot, for the pela. So without further ado, let's start cooking. Oh, there, there's one challenge I'm going to do is we are going to cook all three dishes at the same time in the shortest time possible. So uh, let's start doing it. Uh, my thinking is the, the toughest thing is to start the charcoal fire and the wood fire. So I have an assistant, uh, Johnny, Johnny and I, the two of us will start these two fire. I think it's very interesting to see how to start a wood fire. So let's start there. Wood fire, come. Over here. This is the wood fire. Uh, you will still need a starter. Can I have a fire starter over there, uh, Johnny? This is the starter. I'll take one or two. I'd, let's say I use I'll use two. Put this fire starter inside. And this is my blow torch. I'll use my blow torch to burn my fire starter. One, uh. Ooh. This is very useful as a blow torch. Start the gas. Can you see the frame? Instantly, instantly. All right, fire started. Inside. Can you see the fire inside? Okay. Twigs. Let's put all my twigs. I have my all the twigs here. Put the. Start with the smaller twigs and then move on to the bigger twigs. Okay. All the twigs just put it inside. Put the twigs inside. Wow, well, you can hear this sound means that the, uh, the twigs are pretty dry. But the good thing about this uh, wooden stove is that uh, even if your twigs are uh, a bit wet, it's fine. It will still burn. Okay, no problem. Let's keep adding wood. Hey Johnny, I need, I need help. Um, let's put some water to boil. Um, you know the smallest pot? Put some water in the smallest pot and then once the flame is going, uh, we can boil. Boil water. Okay, now I have to put this uh, put this on. This is the, the something like a cap. Uh. Okay. And then I can put my bigger pieces of wood in. This uh, stove is very wood hungry. Uh, you need to give it a lot of wood. Keep feeding it with wood. Very wood hungry. Wow, you can see how high the flame goes. Huh? Woohoo! Okay, fire is ready. Let's start. Let's start uh, cooking, boiling the water. Pot of hot water. Careful. Do I take it out? Uh, I think it's not standing properly. It's not. It's not. Okay. Woo. Boil faster by covering it. First one is successful, okay? 
So let's start the charcoal fire. I, I just need a small charcoal fire, I guess. Not a big one. Now, one thing about charcoal fire is don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. I don't want a big fire today, so I, I don't I wouldn't look for the big pieces of charcoal. I'll look for small pieces of charcoal. Torch. I think it's burning. Okay. Now put my pieces of charcoal away. This charcoal needs about ten minutes to heat up before I can use it to cook anything. Okay, this will do. I'll wash my hand now. Okay, keep adding wood, Johnny. Otherwise, how are we going to boil our water? Ooh, can you see that? You got it, Tiasing? Mm -hmm. Cool, right? It just caught fire like that. That was awesome. Let's put the pot of water on again. Okay. See the water? Can you see how powerful the heat is? Okay, we can be... We can Start cooking our uh, rice for Jap the Japanese rice. We'll use this pot. So let's just use. We have half a cup of Japanese rice. So just half a cup of water. Maybe slightly more than half a cup of water. Half a cup. Maybe a bit more. Okay, that will be the amount of water for cooking the Japanese rice. So all the rest of the water I'll pour away first. Not pour away, I pour to another container. Can I have another container to pour this water to? Okay, and a spoon please. I need a spoon. Okay, this one, this water can be used for cooking the pay la. Okay. Okay, so this one will be cooking the Japanese rice. Um, can someone time for me? Um, we will cook it for about 15 minutes. I'll use the charcoal fire to cook this one. Okay, let's go to the charcoal fire. But do you need this? No. No. Okay, now it's the charcoal fire. Um, So spread out the fire a little. Put on the grill. Put on the grill. Put this on. Okay, 15 minutes, huh? Uh, someone time for me, uh, 15 minutes. Okay, the, the, the rice is cooking. So the next thing we are going to do is the uh, pela. Because pela also takes time. Okay, pela. We will need the bigger pot. May I have the bigger pot over there? That's the pot. Okay. Pick up. Ah. Oil, please. Let's oil the pot. Okay, let's fry the garlic. Okay. 
Oh yeah. See? At the rice. These are long grain rice. Just now the Japanese rice is short grain. These are long grain basmati rice. Okay. Fry a bit. Then we can add our tomato. Using lemon. For this dish, uh, traditionally people put saffron. I don't have saffron, so I put Cajun spice. Just for the color uh, and also for of course, the taste. Okay, and now we can add the water. Also, about half a cup of water. Turn down, the, turn down the heat. Small heat. Otherwise, it will burn. Very small heat. Okay. And maybe the last five minutes will add all the seafood. Uh, keep let it boil for to get smaller, even smaller heat. I need the heat to be very small. Okay, small heat. I can see the fire. Oh, fire. Cover it. Okay. Five minutes. Huh? We'll come back to check. Next. The next one will be our American breakfast. Okay, I'm going to use the Boy Scout style. I need some oil. And uh, my blow torch. Okay. Okay, uh, no touch, burn up, burn the, the solid fuel first. Come near, see the whole thing close up. Okay, solid fuel is burning. Um, I'll add some more pizza. Fuel on top. Okay, oil, the hot plate. What should we cook first? What we'll cook first is the bacon. Since there's space, let's add the hot dog. Get some oil. Now, solid fuel has a certain smell which I don't like. But, it gives you the heat you want. Ooh, the yeah. fire is getting big, right? Yeah. Fantastic, ah, the heat. Okay, uh, the space, I'll add my tomato. Wow, did you see the fire? Wow. Then we add the heat. Give it a small burn. Everything must be at the right angle. Otherwise, fire will always burn. Okay, my stove is not burning. Okay, the next level will be oil. Yeah, we all need the oil to add the seasoning. And then we start to cook. Okay, first I'll 
This is how it's supposed to be done, okay, guys? Everything is cooked now. Very good. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's stop now. Yeah. Oh, stop cooking now because the heat has taken off the heat. Look at the look at the this this is our American breakfast. This is what American breakfast is the easiest. So what else do we have to do? We still have to barbecue the prawn, but we still we need the this heat for barbecuing the prawn. So so that will have to wait a while. And uh, pay la. Okay, I'll add the I'll add the prawns now. So I'll add the seafood now for the pay la. Come, let's open it. Let me check the fire first. Okay, it's still there. Why is still there? Okay, that's the rice. We can add a bit of water if you want to. Okay, then add the seafood on top. Everything in. Okay. Seafood. Cover it. Give it another five minutes. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, another five minutes. We'll check this and the Japanese rice. Okay. Uh, why don't we enjoy the enjoy the. American nice. breakfast. Ooh, because can you see? Come close up and you see the uh, eggs. Uh. the eggs are so nice. Okay. Yeah. Hey, red. Let's dip it. Dip it in the egg. Wow. Now I'm gonna eat the bacon. Red as well. Now, sausage. Um, if you are buying sausage, right? Um, of course, they are the very expensive kind. Uh, they will always be nice. But if you want to buy the cheap one, and still taste good, go for this uh, Chef Valley or Valley Chef. I think it's Valley Chef. Valley Chef. Sausages, frozen sausages. In my opinion, they are the best. Mm. Eat some tomato. Tomato is the only vegetable in this dish. You better eat some. Then eggs, just now I didn't eat the egg, right? just now I just dip the egg. Oh, oh, okay. Eat the egg. Super good. So, uh, I leave the rest for my children. But just now I eat only demo. Okay? 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. The rice should be ready. Let me check out the rice, the Japanese rice. Yeah, let's open the pot. Uh, what do you do a close up as I open? Oh, can you see? Can you see the rice inside? Looks good, right? Let me see whether. Oh, you see? Nicely cooked. Oh, very good. Okay, let's take it off the heat. Take it off the heat. There you are. Mm. 
let it cool down. I will just uh, fluff it up. We are going to use this to make, um, what is it called? Hand California hand roll. And uh, I'll fluff up the rice a little. So this is rice cooked on the fire and not, um, how do I put it? It's not uh, cooked in a rice cooker. So it can be done, right? As long as you watch, watch the fire. Okay, good. Okay, uh, now we barbecue the prawn. Can we have a prawn? Spread out the heat a bit. Prawn sprays. Skewered prawns. Let's barbecue them. Put all of them here. And uh, I will spread some more of the marinade on top. Daiso marinade. Uh, these are reuse, reusable skewers bought in Malaysia. $2 a pack of, I think, 12 So good, right? If you are here, you can smell it. Okay, let's look at, take a look at our pela. Could be ready. Come, close up as I take out the lid. See what's inside. Ooh, I think that everything is nice and cooked. Let me let me eat a bit of the rice. Mmm. Mmm. Cooked. So I'll cover it. Let it uh, just steam inside. Uh, off the heat. Okay. We'll come back and try this later. Okay, the prawns are done. Okay, this one definitely done. This one definitely done. Uh, this one let it cook for a bit more. This one is definitely done. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Everything is, is good. Okay, let's put them here. Okay, it's about time to make our California roll. Let's taste test this one. Hey la. Ooh. It's, it's really perfectly cooked and there's a little bit of charred rice underneath, which is perfectly fine, isn't it? Okay, let's try it. With the soft tong. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect as a shut in meal. Okay, now try the prawn. Wow, prawn. So hot. <laughs> the head can eat. Actually, I'll just eat the whole thing. Mmm! One more mouth, one more mouth. So good. <laughs> the cameraman can't wait to eat as well. But, before we do that, let's do our California hand roll. Which is the most important thing in this whole, uh, in this whole demo, right? Because it's the most delicate, so I have to wash my hands. There is a pause. Oh, no pausing. This is to prove that my hand is fully, fully washed. Oh, so, see the t-shirt? <laughs> Happiness is an inside job. That's why I'm doing this. Because, if you want to be happy, it's an inside job. Right? Nobody can make you happy, but you can make yourself happy. Okay, 
California hand roll demo like some rice okay put it on your seaweed like that um, okay I put it on the surface first squeeze some mayo by some I mean a lot right and then oops 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 you need a very big hand to make the hand make the hand roll cucumber okay and prawn okay big one and one more one more of course <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. two prawns now this is the most important part isn't it can you see the demo ah? demo press over here then roll There you have it. Beautiful California hand roll. Look like hand roll, right? Yeah. It looks yeah. like ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's let's taste test it. Hmm. Very very good. I'm not joking. The seaweed is nice, the rice is perfectly cooked, cucumber and the marinated prawn all inside. One more bite. Perfect way to spend your time when you kind of lock in for coffee. American breakfast, Japanese lunch and Spanish dinner all within I think one hour right, one hour no, slightly less than slightly more than one hour and we use four types of fire as you realize wood fire charcoal fire solid fuel fire and gas stove fire um, and only using outdoor cooking equipment you can do it everybody can do it right so uh, see you again. Hope the next time I see you, this whole shut-in exercise will be over and all of us will be seeing each other at the beach. See you there. Bye-bye.